Hello, Myrtle. Oh, Jack, finally. Where do you want it? Here's fine. Aren't you sweet to get yourself all dolled up for me? It's for our premiere. Did you see the light? Sure. So how come you ain't there? My boss decided to throw a party for Mr. Fairbanks at the last minute. Miss Sellers is dry as powder. So he put Susie's secretary on the case. Who else? It's funny, he won't give me the assistant director job, says it's too much for a woman, but he has no qualms with me fraternizing with criminals. Criminals? Shucks. I don't mind it, I suppose. I'll miss running errands when I'm someone important. When, huh? But I did have this dress made special, and now I won't get to wear it. Well, you're wearing it now. Not today, Jack. I'll take a check. Not any day. Let's have a look. Nope. Oh, you got the cash? 200. There's no gin in this box, Jack. Nope. I'm fresh out. You said you had it. I said I'd get it. You double-crossing scoundrel. Now, don't cast a kitten. I will go for it directly. I just thought maybe you would want to come along. Hell of a night, ain't it? Gonna be a little cold. Don't worry, Carl is reliable. He'll fix us up. Even better. Of course, we could just split with the cash, head north, but Frisco way, start over, together. I'm not that kind, Jack. Settling down kind. Who? And I'm not a thief. I take my job seriously. Well, it's too bad the job don't reciprocate. What? I bet you're thinking you'll save His Majesty's bacon tonight. He'll reconsider and let you play assistant director after all. Well, why wouldn't he? I could do it. I'm the best secretary he's ever had. Moxie Pictures wouldn't last an hour without me. Exactly. He's got you where he wants you, baby. The day he promotes you is the day you take me to the prom. Let me do the talking. Mm. Where's Carl? Out. Who are you? Sweetie. Sweetie? Because I ain't. Well, I'll get right down to it. I need a case of gin. Let's see the lettuce. Just put it on my tab. Hey, I'll settle with Carl tomorrow. Uh, oh, come on. Wait. I got it. Cash on delivery. So that's where Carl got to. You wouldn't. No. You shoot a girl? You're not a girl. You're trouble. Last chance trouble. <clears throat> it's Myrtle. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. This game takes more than I got. Maybe I ought to go straight. You're too soft-hearted for this line. You're not. Maybe we should trade places. There's plenty of opportunities for advancement in the underworld. You think so? What time is it? It's past 10. Party's already started. I'll have been fired by now. My apartment has a starling orange tree in the yard. When I moved in, I thought I'd be having orange juice every morning with breakfast. The oranges were always sour. They never seemed to ripen. I guess that's just Hollywood. Just a great golden ball of disappointment. I'd never disappoint you. No. 
I'd steal you the moon if you asked. <laughs> what about going straight? I'll make it easy for you. I want an orange. Will you get me an orange, Jack? Not that one. That one. Hello, Trouble. Or should I call you stupid? The name's Myrtle, but I'm not here for the money, so it doesn't matter. Where's the Reuben? I dropped him. You don't want money? What do you want? I want a job. <laughs> 